to another Regal Mystery Monday movie review. I was very hopeful about this Monday's movie because it is Halloween time and I was like please let it be a horror movie. And without further ado the movie was It's a Wonderful Knife. Winnie's life is less than wonderful one year after saving her town from a psychotic killer on Christmas Eve when she wishes she was never born. She finds herself magically transported to a nightmarish parallel universe. With the murderous maniac now back, she must team up with a misfit to identify the culprit and get back to her own reality. Rated R. If you are familiar with the holiday movie classic, It's a Wonderful Life, then you already know how this movie's gonna work out. Basically, a character says they this world would be better without them in it. They get their wish and they get to see the world how it would be without them in it. Now this one's a little bit different because in Winnie's real world, she kills a serial killer to prevent them from killing again. But if she was never born, that serial killer is free to run rampant continuously, which has dire consequences in the other reality that which Winnie is now put in. First off, let me tell you how excited I was that it was a horror movie, finally. Unfortunately, it was a Christmas-themed horror movie, but, you know, at least it's a slasher, so I can swallow some of the holiday cheese. Oh. This movie stars Justin Long as a greedy corporate mogul who will stop at nothing to get what he wants and to expand his business empire. If a little blood needs to be shed, so be it. Justin Long plays his character in a goofy, almost cartoonish manner, but he is still very menacing and creepy. Like you see him and he has these super huge iridescent veneers on his teeth and you would probably laugh at him if you weren't so scared of him. Yeah, he's real silly looking, but he also has this air of unstableness and he could snap at any moment when you're talking to him. Now he plays this role with the kind of camp that you see throughout this movie. This movie, along with Justin Long's character, really pays homage to the classic slashers of the 70s and 80s, where the movies don't take themselves too seriously. There's violence and gore, there's some comedy, and it's just a good balance of both. There's even some heartfelt moments where the main character goes to her It's a Wonderful Life sequence, and she realizes the mistake she made by wishing that she was never born. This revelation comes a little late for her, and she has to exact revenge in order to get back to her timeline. And since this is an homage to classic slasher films, of course is going to be the classic slasher film tropes, where the main heroes are fighting the killer, but they don't kill the killer, they just incapacitate them and then run over the body. Now, this is something I expect in these type of films. I don't get upset about it, but the dude bros behind me, they were so upset that the main leads did not immediately kill the killer when they had the chance. They were all like, if I was in this movie, I would just kill him immediately. You know, throw him down the stairs, stomp on his face. I'm not going to pussyfoot around this. Little, oh, no, I'm so scared of this guy in the mask. No, just kill him, man. Like, end the movie in, like, 20 minutes. Super easy. God. Woke. You know? And it was just it was just so annoying to hear that constant chatter behind you. Like, it's a movie, guys. Come back. I really like the main girl characters, Winnie, our heroine who wishes to never been born, and her newfound friend, the weirdo, Bernie. They really had a good chemistry. They, they would bounce jokes off of each other. And by the end of the movie, you really felt like they had this kinship, this bond that really brought them together and helped them fight for a common cause. Another thing that I really enjoyed was the design of the killer's costume. So the killer is called the Angel and he has a knife with wings on it and he is dressed all in white. Now I know that seems kind of silly for a slasher film to be wearing all white, but you'd be surprised how resistant it was to blood. Now usually white isn't used for camouflage, but when you're in a winter wonderland, it does help you blend in quite a bit. There are some things that people are not going to like about this movie. One of which is being LGBTQIA plus yes, inclusive. Queen. So Winnie, the main character Winnie, her brother is gay. Winnie's aunt is a lesbian in a committed relationship. And then these things are treated as how they should be treated in most movies and media. 
No one is phased by it and no one cares. And you want to know why? Yeah. Because it's 100% normal. And I could hear the groans in the audience when they showed two boys kissing. It was absolutely insane. Like, it's 2023. You're still crying that some guys like guys. Woke. You're still crying that some girls like girls. Woke. Now, I'm sure this movie will be considered woke just because of these scenes. But to be honest, oh well. If you don't like it, you don't have to watch it. <laughs> this is real life. Gay people exist. You're going to have to get over it at some point. Now, there was one scene that I didn't like too much. I liked the idea of the scene, but I didn't like how it was executed. So at some point in the movie, our main character, Winnie, is in a dark room. And she's using a camera flash to see around the room and see what's happening. Now, the killer is also in the room and is attacking people all around her. And she's just trying to figure out where all the action's happening. So basically, everything is dark and you just see things in flashes of light from the camera. Now, I've seen this effect done before in other movies, and I have no issue with it. Now, maybe it's the way it's done. Maybe the flashes were too often or not often enough or things were too dark or too bright. I don't know. But I started to get kind of disoriented from the whole experience. And then there was also the 360 surround sound of the audio of people calling out for help from Winnie and then screaming in pain from the killer attacking them. So it was just like these two combined things of the flashes and the 360 sound that just kind of got me... I don't want to say nauseous, but just really disoriented with the whole thing. And I just felt that this scene maybe lasted a bit too long. It was about 40 seconds maybe of just this flashing photography. And it just, it was kind of overwhelming for me. You may not have any issue with it, but for me it was a bit too much. But the one positive is that maybe that's how our main character was feeling. So that kind of put me into the main character's shoes. Disoriented. Now, I don't want to give away too much of the movie because it is a slasher and there are some twists and turns in there that I think are really good for you to experience when you're watching the movie. The movie was fun. It was balanced. Some of the kills were really creative. You could hear the audience around me <gasps> gasping at certain things, laughing at other things. And it was just a really good group experience, which I don't usually have in movies because I go to the movies alone pretty much all the time. So I never get to really experience things like that with other people. So I actually had a really good time, even with the dude bros. Woke. So what rating would I give the movie? I would give it a seven and a half, eight. It really just was a good time. It did what it set out to do, and it was to do an homage to these classic slasher films. It also transformed the classic Christmas movie into something completely different. It was fresh, it was original, and like I said already, it's a very fun time. So... Did you see the Regal Mystery Monday movie, It's a Wonderful Knife? If you did, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so I can keep bringing you fantastic, fantastic holiday, holiday content, content, content just, just like, like, this. like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side of the snow globe. Bye. <laughs>